Lower limb, venous anatomy. Veins of the lower limb are classified into three groups, namely superficial veins, deep veins, and perforators. Deep veins accompany major arteries and their branches. They are frequently arranged in pair of veins, especially the anterior tibial, posterior tibial, and the peroneal veins. They are situated underneath the deep fascia. Superficial veins run along the subcutaneous tissue, superficial to the fascia. First, we'll discuss the deep veins. For the ease of understanding these are drawn only as single veins. In the foot, the plantar digital veins unite into plantar metatarsal veins, which empty into the deep plantar venous arch. The plantar venous arch continues as medial and lateral plantar veins, which continues as posterior tibial vein. On the dorsum of the foot, the deep veins are formed by the dorsalis pedis vein. The dorsalis pedis vein continues as anterior tibial vein. The peroneal vein originates in the distal third of the leg and ascend to unite with the posterior tibial vein to form the tibioperineal trunk. The anterior tibial vein joins the tibioperineal trunk to form the popliteal vein. The main tributaries of the popliteal vein are small saphenous vein and gastrocnemius veins. The popliteal vein as it ascends through the hiatus magnus, it becomes the superficial femoral vein. The superficial femoral vein unites with deep femoral vein to form common femoral vein. The common femoral vein continues as external iliac vein as it passes deep to the inguinal ligament. Superficial veins run along the subcutaneous tissue, superficial to the fascia. These include greater saphenous vein and small saphenous vein and their tributaries. On the dorsum of the foot, the digital veins form dorsal metatarsal veins, they drain into dorsal venous arch. The medial end of the dorsal arch continues as greater saphenous vein, and the lateral end continues as small saphenous vein. The greater saphenous vein passes anterior to medial malleolus, ascends medial to knee, and passes posterior to the medial condyle at the knee. In the thigh the greater saphenous vein ascends anteriorly, enters the fossa ovalis, pierces the cribriform fascia, and empties into the common femoral vein, at about 4 cm inferior and lateral to the pubic tubercle. The tributaries of the greater saphenous vein in the leg are mainly two, anterior venous tributary, and the more constant posterior arch vein. In the thigh, it receives two large tributaries, just before emptying into the common femoral vein. They are lateral accessory and medial accessory saphenous veins. The lateral accessory saphenous vein is almost always present. In addition, it also receives small tributaries like superficial external pudental vein, superficial circumflex iliac vein, and superficial epigastric vein. The small saphenous vein passes posterior to the lateral malleolus, ascends along the lateral border of the Achilles tendon, in the upper part of the leg, it pierces the deep fascia, and drains into the popliteal vein. There are many perforators connecting the superficial vein to deep veins. They drain blood from the superficial system to the deep system. But we will discuss only the important ones. In the foot the perforators are unique, as they are drain blood from deep to superficial system. These are medial and lateral ankle perforators, with drain the blood from the deep system to the greater and small saphenous veins, respectively. The lateral ankle perforators are also called custers or maze perforators. In the leg, the medial calf perforators, also known as cocket perforators, are the important ones, these connect the posterior arch vein of greater saphenous vein to the posterior tibial vein. Boyd's perforators are located just below the knee, it connects the greater saphenous vein to the deep veins. In the thigh, the clinically important direct perforators are dods. Perforators, these connect the greater saphenous vein to the femoral veins. This completes the lower limb venous system.